Hi guys, Tim from Desert Data Recovery here. Uh, it's been a little while since Ace Labs uh, launched the uh, updated version of PC3000 that allows you to unlock USB ROMs, WD USB ROMs. Um, we haven't seen a, a video yet or a webinar, so I thought I'd just quickly take you through what I've found so far, just to speed up the process. Basically, the way it works um, is we, we need to read the ROM from the USB board first. That's the most important thing. Uh, and then we actually work with the ROM. So we are assuming we've read the ROM, either an external reader or a POGO reader. Uh, and then we come into PC3000, into the WD utility. And this new version is a little slower than the old one. And you have an unlock SED uh, here. Click that. And uh, you can see this is, is the ROM that we downloaded from, this is a Spyglass 2 drive. We download it from the Spyglass 2 drive. We open this up. It takes you into this window here. We can see that it's Spyglass 2. Uh, we can see that the checksum is correct. The one, the one thing, the one danger, I guess, of this new version is that we're overwriting the ROM uh, on the drive. Um, so we need to make sure we've got a good copy of the ROM first, which is why I tend to remove the ROM as opposed to use a POGO reader. Uh, but it does have checksum in here, so uh, theoretically um, it should pick up the fact that you have a bad ROM in here. Uh, anyway, we press this button, unlock HDD with system area access, and then it prompts you to save the ROM. I obviously already did one here. So it prompts you to save the ROM. Uh, this pops up the standard uh, hex edit window from P from uh, Ace Labs, and if you want to do any you know changes, modifications, check anything with the ROM, you can do that at the same time. At least that's what I'm assuming it's for. I'm sure Ace Labs will tell us. Then we're able to come out of that. Then we go and uh, write that unlocked ROM back to the USB board. Put the USB board back on the drive. Obviously, for full data recovery, we'd want to convert the USB board to SATA, but just for this demonstration to prove it does work through USB, I have this particular Spyglass drive here. So let's go into the Spyglass utility. This is our Spyglass drive, and we can see here that. Uh, it does detect it as being a Spyglass 2 drive. And you can see we already have full access into the drive here. Just to, uh, just to prove anything, we can go into the modules directory. We can see all the modules. Most important thing is we have access to unencrypted data through the USB MCU. Uh, anyway, that's how the whole thing works. So um, enjoy.